Hello everyone, when starting any new software, you might wonder what all the capabilities are and how to use them. This is even more important to know how these work as it would directly affect your profits and sales. And this is why we put together this quick guide to tell you all the different rules that are available in BeCool and a brief intro to how each of them works. Let's dive in. First, you're going to head to your BeCool account and click on repricing rules. Here you can see all of your already active rules. Then you click add new rule and it'll bring you to create a new rule interface. Starting with our rule based rules, we have the following match buy box, which will only match the buy box price. It will not change the price as long as you own the buy box. Undercut buy box price oscillate. This rule will undercut the buy box until it reaches the min and then it'll go back to your max price. It would also raise your price while you own the buy box. Undercut buy box price will compete with the buy box price and then raise your price while you own the buy box. Target lowest price is set to compete with the lowest price and then it will raise your price while you own the buy box. Target the lowest FBA price. As it says, this will compete with the lowest FBA price and would raise your price while you own the buy box. And custom rule where you can select specific competitors and various criteria including free shipping, total feedback, and back order products. For our AI rules, we have two models, what we call AI powered win buy box, which is the AI 1.0 and AI powered match buy box, which is the AI 2.0. For 1.0, we have our win buy box rules. AI win profit maximizer. This rule will price aggressively to focus on getting you the highest profits, but won't prioritize sales. AI win profit booster incrementally reprice to boost profit. It's less aggressive than profit maximizer. Then there's AI win equalizer, which is the most balanced. This rule will balance profit and sales. And this is one of our favorite rules for most of our users. And it's one of the rules many sellers start with. Then we have the AI win sales booster. Like profit booster, this will incrementally reprice to boost sales. Then there's AI win sales maximizer, our most aggressive sales focused rules. This will prioritize sales over profits. And it would also be good if you're trying to liquidate items. For 2.0, these are our newest AI match buy box rules, which will only go to match your competitor's buy box price and then will raise up and try to get you more profits. These are AI match boost profit, which is the most balanced. This rule will quickly lower your prices, but never undercut the buy box and will gradually bring up your price if you win the buy box. AI match grow profit, this rule will match the buy box more moderately and then quickly raise your price if you win the buy box. AI match max profit with this rule will slowly lower your price incrementally to match the buy box and aggressively raise your price if you obtain the buy box. With our match buy box AI rules, we also introduce a new price looping feature that will let you reset your price based on your max price, buy box price, lowest price, your price or min price, plus or minus a dollar amount or percentage. You can set how often this price resets as well as how long it would hold your price before it begins repricing. This is one of the best ways to increase your profit because it could lead to your competitors to raise their prices. With our conditional repricing, these are some of our most customizable rules because we can combine multiple rules together to automatically change based on the criteria that we set. The defaults that we have are inventory age conditions that can be set to change your repricing strategy based on the age of your inventory. Sell through rate conditions, which will automatically change based on sell through rate. Days of supply conditions, this will be able to automatically change your rules based on the days of supply that you have remaining. FBA advanced conditions, this rule is customizable based on numerous FBA specific conditions. Then we have the FBM advanced conditions, similar to the last rule. This one is designed for FBM sellers. Unless you're using conditional repricing, you can only set one rule per listings. With CR, you can automatically switch between multiple rules based on the criteria that you set. We hope that this quick overview helps you understand the basic differences between all the different types of rules and how you might be able to use them better for your listings. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube and our podcast channels for the latest content that will be useful for your business. We're Be Cool. We keep innovating to help you stay cool with your Amazon business.